In the first race, I have a horse called Kiefer. She's done a damn good second to success in the Calcutta Oaks. And somehow down the line, she's lost her form. Smallish fields, so I took a chance and raced her. So you've got See the Sun, uh, the first race tomorrow, one in its last outing and is also drawn uh, at one. Tell us something more about the horse. Well, it's a small field, so the draw really doesn't make a difference. It's over a mile and a half. He's a three-year-old going a mile and a half with some older horses. But he's worked well and he won well last time. So, yes, he has received a penalty, but I think he'll be right there. All right, Neeraj, you've got Zarak and Pyrus, whom you're riding tomorrow. Tell us what you feel about both these horses. Uh, Zarak is running a mile and a half uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, he's got a decent chance. He's got uh, faces uh, face his horse over there. I think he's the main danger to every one of us. So we've got Art Collector and Sovereign Grey uh, running in the second race tomorrow and they're both first time runners. Tell us how they're working and if they stand a chance to win at the races tomorrow. Sovereign Grey is a very big horse. He's running the first time. I'm not giving much work for him. He's a 540 plus. But he will run a good race. He need a, I think he needed a run. And Art Collector is a nice horse. He's a, uh, half, uh, he's a half of the silver flame, he's done well, but he's the f running in the first time. It's a tough race, but he will run a good race. There's two, three horses in that race. One is uh, the Pesh horse is there, and Mr. Narendra Lagas horse is there. These two horses are there, but inshallah he will run a good race. I have three runners in the Division 2 of the Maiden Five Along. Uh, Blue-Eyed Boy, uh, Fremont and TTD. Uh, they're all running for the first time. Uh, they will probably need a distance and uh, they will need the start so I'm just hoping that they run well. Alright, you've got Amri uh, competing for the races tomorrow. Tell us what you feel of Amri and how do you think he's going to place? She's a good speedy filly who's been running quite a few races now and I think she's knocking on the door and should be there. Second race, I've got this filly called Moonlight Kiss, very speedy. She's drawn one, if she gets a good break, she could probably do it but she has to be two good horses there art collect who's worked very well and there's a horse there called uh, armory who's about four lengths better on paper on the last run you've got Sarosky, a first time runner for you uh, at the races tomorrow tell us how do you think she's gonna fare well when she came from the farm she had a very bad hoof uh, most of us thought she won't race but uh, god has been kind she's recovered from that and uh, she's worked well, she's ready for her first race. She's a very nice type, she's well bred. Uh, she, she'll need this race probably, but she's well. She, she's got a lot of class, but she'll come up from this race. In, uh, in the next race, I've got Kurt Lyon. Uh, last time, his pace was cut off by Emperor Roderick and uh, both fought themselves and uh, finished themselves before coming into the straight. Now, uh, subsequently, he has worked, given good one workout and uh, he has shown a, a lot of improvement. But uh, on a plane handicapping, it should be between him and uh, Great Guns. It could be a close call there. Forever is a good filly who's won four races in Chennai and has done well for me there. She's come down to Pune and running her first run after a very long time. She's been working decently and I hope she should be there. Then the third race I have a horse called Fleming Lamborghini. He's won a race and he's run place fourth. Last start he met with a lot of difference. I think in this race, horse called Great Guns. The race between Great Guns and me. They're talking about Cody Leon, but this horse has got no form. Plus he's giving us weight. Fourth race, I've got Axis, uh, Rising Power, both uh, at the moment uh, quite backward. I don't think they'll be able to do much in this kind of a race. I have three runners in the Division 1 of the Maiden Five Alongs, uh, Into the Storm, Zarafat and Mallet Spring. Mallet Spring uh, is a filly that needs longer, she's still 
sort of just coming into her own so just needed to start zarafat is running for the first time he's worked nicely but uh, again lack of experience will count uh, into the storm has uh, has been working nicely and uh, the first run this season he was gelded and th- that was his first start so he probably needed that run I, he's showing a lot of speed and work so the field doesn't look too strong to me and i'm hoping that he runs well and finishes on the first three so we've also got ariana star and goddess of dawn in the fourth race tomorrow tell us something more about them and uh, how about, tell us about their track work uh goddess of dawn she's a very light of philly she's running first time she ran in bombay also she ran close fourth and uh, we are fancying that at that time she, i'm not giving her much work because of the light philly but she, inshallah she has a very good chance and she work well i think inshallah she'll be there and the other philly she is a little tough and nice philly but i think she need a, after this she will come up uh, and the first chance i think the goddess of dawn she has a lot of chance uh, and work well let's see tomorrow inshallah only thing the draw is 10 10 okay. yeah Then I have a filly called Enchanting Empress. She had only one start so far. I put a trunk strap on her and I hope she runs hope she runs the better race today. You've got Cypher uh, running for the races tomorrow, placed third uh, last time and of course for the races uh, it's drawn at 13. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Cypher is a very genuine filly and uh, she always runs her heart out and uh, on the Spoona turning track drawn 13 is a very big disadvantage but I still uh, have faith in her and I hope she runs a great race. I've got Jetfire running uh, tomorrow. He's run two races here both times he was fourth. He's run a promising race. He's knocking at the door all the time. And uh, if the if the pace of the race suits him he'll be right there again. Yes, I've got my filly, uh, Northern Singer. I would have preferred if it was a uh, five for long race, but it is six, so that I have to go with it now. I think we all have to beat a horse called Ocean of God. He's been working very well. Got intense belief in the fifth race. She's had a run this season. She's still a little thick. She just might need this run, but uh, she'll run quite. She'll quite run quite a decent race. Uh, of course, there's Commandment and Cipher. uh she come on up she come on from this run in the last race i have a horse called paris who's a winner winner in the last start she beat monarchy there's also another horse called attain in the same race who's on a very good race to enabler i think it's a fight between him and me but if my philip reproduces a bombay form and she and second to slick chick she can win here in the last race i've got a horse called banksy he's come to me from calcutta of course calcutta class is about a class less than us over here but uh, he's in fourth class he's at some decent form in calcutta it's his first run we we'll take it from here So you've got Lord Phoenicia and Galway Bay both uh, running at the sixth race. Tell us something more about them, their form, and uh, who do you think is gonna take the win? Lord Phoenicia uh, ran after a big gap last time, but uh, I was quite happy with his run. He is bound to come up after the race, uh, definitely with a, with a chance. But it's a very open field. There are a lot of horses which are knocking the door. Uh, Tyrone Black attend. What's the you know name? and i have a filly in the same race galway bay also finished second she's run a good race she's also in a good form so i hope one of them win this race slightly open my horse has just returned back to form he's shown an indication that he's back to normal but there's a horse called pyrus last time out winner there is attained who's been very consistent uh, his uh, right through uh, there is another horse who could be a surprise what's in the name and i've got my tyron black I hope for the best for him. I am riding Pyrus tomorrow in the last race. She won a race last time. So fingers crossed she produces the same effort this time. She's running over a trip now. I think she should handle the distance extra one for long. And but she's carrying top effort but she runs with a decent nice chance. Nice chance. All right, that was it for today. I shall see you all at the races tomorrow and I'll be coming back next week yet again to get you the views of the trainers for the races. Thank you.